Hey guys, this is Donovan Myers with part one of a three-part video series on the Mad Cats Arcade Fight Stick VS Edition. Uh, the first part of this series is going to be an unboxing, so let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, this is the box. It has a nice uh, light gray design of everything printed on black. The front here has a sticker, and I don't know if that's just they wanted that spot color and it was cheaper to do a sticker or uh, they didn't have the logo ready in time. There is like an outline here that looks like they knew what was going on. Uh, you've got the bottom that has the languages uh, for all the different countries they sell it in. Uh, the top here, I don't know, mine came with this sticker goo on here. I don't know what that's about. Uh, and of course, again, the back that shows what you get. And of course, this is called the VS. You can hook two together. Let's go ahead and open it up. Now I didn't uh, open this at all before the video, but I did take some uh, plastic stickers off here. And somebody once said, the, how much a company cares about you is uh, how much goo is left when you remove stickers off of their stuff. And there's no goo here, so you can tell that Medcats actually cares. You open it up, you have your nice message from Daigo making you feel better about your purchase. And there it is. All right, there's a, a headset adapter if you have the Xbox version. Uh, it looks like it was supposed to be taped here. And it has come loose, shaking around the box, and there's some scratches on the shiny black plastic here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this tape off. And that tape did leave some sticky goo, so we're going to have to use some goof off on that. As I said before, there are some scratches here. I think it's from this getting shaken around in the box. Uh, there's some remnant of what looks like maybe at one time there's some plastic protection on here. And there's some dust and stuff on here, maybe extra plastic. I'm not a big fan of the handheld camera stuff, which is why you always see me doing the over the shoulder view. But I just wanted to zoom in here so you can see the dust that I'm talking about. I started wiping, and you can see right there. Basically this whole thing's kind of covered in dust. The flex, I think, ended up being just from the sonal buttons going in, you know, that little tab that gets pulled off. Alright, so this is the stick, now that we've uh, finally gotten it taken out and cleaned off. These bolts are for the connection kit if you want to connect two of them together. On the back here, of course, you have your uh, cord port like you normally do on any Mad Cats TE stick. You can, I don't know if you can see it, there's of the tape goo I still have to get off. Uh, I didn't know this. But this plastic actually looks kind of like a dark, really dark brown, kind of clear. It's not uh, like solid black. It's really hard to see unless you see it in person. Of course, there's the bottom. Uh, this metal panel does look bigger than a normal uh, TE bottom. I have no idea what this uh, front compartment is for, why that would come off. But the stick looks pretty good. Um, looks pretty standard, we'll have to see how it feels. Alright, actually, before we go, I thought some people might like seeing uh, some size comparison here. So here's a standard TE. You can see it's just about maybe an inch shorter than a TE with wings. It's basically the same depth for the most part. And of course, right about the same height. And here's the other Tekken stick, the Pro. And you can see here we've got maybe three inches of difference here. And again, these are pretty close. Once you take into, the, into consideration the front angle here, they're pretty much the same depth as well. 
So in my next video, I'm going to go ahead and basically take this whole thing apart and show you what the insides are. We'll find out what's inside here. Uh, so I'll see you next time. Yeah.